Shalom, Israel. To the house of Judah, Shalom. We're going to talk about season. The season changing. The season to everything. There is a season. And the time to every purpose under heaven. The season. We're talking about season. The seasons in the spirit change. Seasons to everything. There is a season. There's a season. You see, Israel had a season of blessings when we came out of Egypt. There was a season of blessings. And then because we turned our backs on the Most High, there was a season of curse. There was a season upon Israel, house of Judah. A season, okay? It's a season that we're in, all right? Let's talk about that season to everything. There is a season. There is a season. And a time to every purpose under heaven. There's a time to be born. Yes, yes. God took Israel as home, chosen for his own portion, a peculiar nation, a peculiar people. A holy nation unto himself. There was a season when he spoke to Israel. It was a time to be born. It was a time to die. A time to plant. A time to pluck up that which is planted. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to break down and a time to build up. A time to break down. A time to build up. A season. The season. Yasharel had a season of blessings, and then there was a season of a curse. A 400 year season. A season. When we look in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 30, it shall come to pass when all these things are come upon thee. That season. That season. The blessing and the curse which I have set before thee. And thou shalt call them to mind among all the nations whither the Lord thy God has driven thee. And shalt return unto the Lord thy God and shall obey his voice according to all that I command thee this day. Thou and thy children with all thine heart and with all thine soul. That then the Lord thy God will turn thy captivity with season, season, and have compassion upon thee. And will return and gather thee from all the nations whither the Lord thy God hath scattered thee. If any of thine be driven out unto the utmost parts of heaven from thence will the Lord thy God gather thee. And from thence will he fetch thee. And the Lord thy God will bring thee into the land which thy fathers possessed. And thou shalt possess it and he will do thee good. See and multiply thee above thy fathers. And the Lord thy God will circumcise thy heart and the heart of thy seed to love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, and with all thy life, with all mayest thou live, that thou mayest live. And the Lord thy God will become that season. It's a season and a purpose, a time and a purpose to everything under heaven. And the Lord thy God will put all these curses upon thine enemies. And on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. And thou shalt return and obey the voice of the Lord and do all his commandments, which I command thee this day. To everything, to everything, there is a season and a time to every purpose under heaven. Time to every purpose, a time to get. And a time to lose. Yes, we've had a time to get the season of the blessing. A time to lose a 400 year curse. Mm, mm, mm. Yes, yes, yes. A time to keep and a time to cast away. A time to rend and a time to sow. A time to keep silent and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. A time to war and a time of peace. 
there's a season, brothers and sisters. You have to understand the season that we are in. To everything, there is a season and a time to every purpose under the head. There was a season of blessings. There was a season of a curse. And then there's a season where the curse is removed. Put on thine enemies and all who hate thee and have persecuted thee. There is a season and a time to every purpose on the head. Yes, there's a season. There's a season. There is a season. Brothers and sisters, living in the land of our captivity, when we remember, when we remember, we're going to do one more piece. We're going to go to the book of Jeremiah. That season, season. Book of Jeremiah chapter 30. Therefore fear thou not, O my servant Jacob, saith the Lord, neither be dismayed, O Israel, for lo, I will save thee from afar. And thy seed from the land of their captivity. And Jacob shall return and shall be in rest and shall be quiet. And none shall make him afraid. For I am with thee, saith the Lord, to save thee. It's the season of salvation, brothers and sisters. It's the season for the shackles. The shackles to come off the spirit, to come off the mind, to come off the body. It's the season where God is calling an account. Of the enemy's action. It's a season. This is a season no man can stop because no man began it. The Most High God. There is a season and a time to everything and a purpose under heaven. For I am with thee, saith the Lord, to save thee. Though I make a full end of all nations, whether I have scattered thee, yet I will not make a full end of thee. But I will correct thee and measure and will not leave thee altogether unpunished. For thus saith the Lord, thy bruise is incurable and thy wound is grievous. There is none to plead thy cause that thou mayest be bound up. Thou hast no healing medicine. I'm moving down this verse 16. We're in Jeremiah chapter 30 going to the 16th verse. Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured, and all thine adversaries, every one of them, shall go into captivity. And they that spoil thee shall be a spoil. And all they that pray, and all that pray upon thee, I will give for a prey, for I will restore health unto thee. It's the season of healing, Amen. and I will heal, of, heal thee of thy wounds, saith the Lord. Because I have called thee, and out, they have called thee an outcast, saying, This is Zion, whom no man seeketh after. Thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will bring again the captivity of Jacob's tents, and have mercy on his dwelling places. And the city shall be builded upon her own heap, and the palace shall remain after the manner thereof. Out of them shall proceed thanksgiving, and the voice of them that make merry. And I will multiply them, and they shall not be few. There is a season. There is a season. The whirlwind's coming, brothers and sisters. There is a season. There is a season. We have gone through the season of a blessing. Our ancestors went through a season of a blessing. And then we went through a season of captivity. Captivity. Captivity without mercy. Time's up. Time's up. There is a season. This is the season that Israel and Judah, they go home. They go home. Brothers and sisters, look at the time. Let your spiritual eyes, let your spiritual forecast fill the spiritual weather in the air. It's a season. It's a season. Of gathering in. We have gone through the season of being cast away. We have gone through the season of being rejected. We have gone through the season of not knowing who we were. But seasons have changed. We've gone through a season. There is a season. We are in the season of the gathering. We are in the season of the knowing. We are in the season of enlightenment. Even to the point that 
when we hear the words of our captives. We recognize you got to turn it around. You got to turn it around because they hold themselves not guilty. But it matters not because the Most High who sees through the eye of the eye and the ear of the ear knows the truth before it spoke even when the lie is promoted through the narration of a nation that has never known justice and truth. But it's all right. It's okay because the season's turning. It's turning around. It's turning around. The seasons are changing, brothers and sisters. Let your mind be on the spiritual things. Let your heart, let your spirit dwell with the most high. Because the seasons are coming around. The seasons when certain nations that have done evil tell you that it's mental health issues. Let me tell you something. The one that was un under captivity in the seat of the beast, listening to lies and never hearing the truth, that's somebody that had right to say, I got a mental health issue, and yet the most high kept us in that hidden place. He kept us, okay? I can tell you who can have a mental health issue, but in truth, the beauty and the truth, the issue from the most high God has kept us. We're in that season of redemption, though no man saw the south. The Most High is in the midst of us, and He's resting in His Lord. There is a season to everything, and a time to every purpose under heaven. There was a time of a blessing and a time of a curse. Now it's the time of the remembrance, coming back to whom we were and to whom we are. There is a season coming around, brothers and sisters. No man can stop it because no man began it. We belong with the Most High. The Spirit of the Most High is poured out. There's a season. And the season is changing rapidly. And that spiritual weather forecast, storms come. It's getting ready to wipe away all the muck and mire and show through only those things that bear true root. And everything that's built on seeking sand shall be removed from the unholy land. Why? Because the Most High is in the midst. That's why. It's a season, baby. It's a season. Keep your spiritual weather barometer up because the Most High is here among us. And the days of our captivity are rapidly coming to an end. And the captivity and the captors, they're coming undone. All the evils are being exposed, one lie upon the other. But it doesn't matter. Time's up. There is a season. There is a season. To everything, there is a season. And a time to every purpose under heaven. The season of curse on Israel and Judah is over. And now the blessings reign and check the spiritual barometer, brothers and sisters. Peace. Shalom.